In this Flash GS4 tutorial, I'm going to go over the importance of symbols, your library, and making an animation within an animation. So to start off, we'll use a simple symbol. We'll make an oval shape. So I selected the oval tool. And I get a stroke that I like. Fill, maybe blue. Maybe make a stroke of two. Maybe make it hatched on the outside. And I'm just going to draw one up here in my in the top left hand corner. And there's my shape. And I know it's a shape if I double click on it. In my properties panel it says it's a shape. But I want to turn this into a symbol. And to do that, I have to make sure it's all selected with my selection tool, or I could have double clicked on it. Because we want to make sure that we highlight the stroke as well. And go up to the top here, I'm going to go to modify convert to symbol. So I'm going to convert this shape to a symbol. And watch what happens. I'm going to name this ball. And I'm going to select movie clip. Movie clip gives me more options. You could select graphic too uh, for an animation, but we're going to stick with movie clip. It gives us more options. I'm going to press OK. Right away I notice a change has happened. My ball now has a blue square around it. And it's also now located in my library. There's a picture of it here and it's down here in my library. Now, this is where Flash becomes powerful. I can, if you look at my timeline now, let me call this layer ball, press enter. Watch what happens when I double click on this ball. What Flash has done, it has sent me into a new timeline. So if you look here, now it says scene one in ball. Right now I'm in the ball uh, timeline. Okay, if I click this arrow backwards, I'm back into my original timeline. So if I double click on my ball, I'm in a new timeline. So what I can do here now is I can make a small animation here. I'm just going to click here and I'll press F6. And maybe what I'll do is I'll move my ball over this way a bit. Press F6. Move my ball down. F6. Move my ball over here, F6. I don't know, now maybe I'll change the color of the inside to red or something. So now if I go to the beginning and press Enter, I have a small movie of a ball moving around a little bit like that. Why is that important? Well, let's go back to our original stage. <clears throat> and now let's make a motion tween. Remember, to make a motion tween, I hold my mouse down here create motion tween. I'm going to drag this over and normally we just expect the ball to move from here to there. But now if I go up to control and test movie, <coughs> it's now combining what I've made in my symbol timeline with what's in my original timeline. So now my ball has a little effect going there. So that just so shows the power of symbols. It's also powerful because if I make a new layer and say, oh, I really like that ball, I can just go over to my library, grab this symbol, and drop it over here. Go to the end. Right. So now I have two balls. I can go to Control, Test Movie, and I have one just by itself here, and I have one moving across. Now, if I were to just press Enter, this is something important, I don't see that extra animation. Flash doesn't show me that. That's why it's important to go up to Control, Test Movie to see how your symbol is working. And this will become more important when we start working with characters and walk animations and whatnot. So there you go. An animation within an animation. 